goodness. <laughs> This week I had a great opportunity to head over to the west coast of Florida. I'm going to be a little south of Sarasota, in the Venice area, fishing with an up-and-coming marine artist. This guy is really getting established, Juicy Neil Santos. And it was going to be something a little bit different. We're going to spend some time out on the water and just look for some inspiration for Juicy Neil to do some paintings. My name is Juicy Neil Santos. I'm a professional artist. George and I have been having conversations for, I want to say, a year and a half now about, about doing a show together. He, I love his show, he loves my artwork, so it was just the right combination to put something together and um, we made it happen. We're heading out in January, right on the backside of the coldest front that has pushed through the season. Water temperatures have dropped, our opportunities may be a little bit limited, but we had this offshore breeze. Talking to Juice Neal, we said, you know what, let's start the morning off, let's run the beaches, let's run the crab pots, and let's just go out and look for some triple tail. God, what a pretty day. Beautiful out. Beautiful, beautiful. Juice Neil Santos. Man, I tell you what, I've been following your artwork on social media. Absolutely incredible. You do the, some sick stuff out there, man. I love it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. So, you know, out of here, out of Venice, we're just going to go out, try to get some inspiration. Maybe yeah, we'll totally. Maybe something up afterwards. That's, that is how it works, man. That's what I do. Go fishing, then go back to my studio and make it happen. We have some perfect conditions. Winds are light offshore. I mean, we'll find some kind of inspiration we'll, for We'll you. find something. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. These triple tail are such a unique creature. We're gonna be targeting them today by side casting for them. We're gonna be looking for them on the crab pods. This time of the year on the west coast of Florida in this area, you know, a mile off the beach is strewn with crab pods, stone crab pods. And these triple tail just orient themselves to anything that's floating. So these pots are perfect. We had covered some water and finally we came across the one pot. We saw the triple tail that we had been looking for. <laughs> just running past those crab pots. You just know, saw that triple tail laid up there. We're just gonna pitch him a shrimp. What a cool way. I mean, so visual. You see these triple tail laid up along these crab pots. These crab pots are just strewn down this whole coast. Stone crabs, right? Yeah, they're everywhere. And uh, these time of year is where you can find them, so. Let's see if that one will eat. Yep. There it is. Ate that white bait. You Neil. There you go. Threw it in there, let it soak on there a little bit. Oh, that's a good one, buddy. It's the one we were looking for. Let's check it out. Nice. Wow. You saw him down there, he dropped down. I just soaked that bait in there. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you think shrimp, 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 nothing. We stopped in to grab some white bait just in case and threw a white bait. And that's what he wanted. You ever uh, draw these or paint these? <laughs> Have you ever painted these? Uh, drawn just, them? just one. Just pretty one. Much, yeah, these, but totally. Nineteen one. Right. Oh, perfect! Look at the Look color at on that thing. Look at that head. So we get that triple tail landed, and I, I could see it in, in in Juice Neil's hands. It's. He's looking at things differently than I think most people look at, at him. You know, I can see that he's taking it all in and um, he's processing it. He's looking at the colors. I, I know he's looking at the contours and I, I just know that he sees it differently than I do um, after looking at some of his paintings. Juice Neal, what do you say, man? That one goes in the Yeti? <laughs> Excellent eating. Sure. Oh, worked hard for him. Might as well get the reward. I'm pretty much in love with this area because of um, the, I mean, the inshore part is just amazing. We have this seasonal tarpon season that comes every spring um, and part of the summer. And we also have an amazing redfish, um, fishery, sea trout, you name it, snooks all year round. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nice, a little smaller one, but how cool was that? You gotta eat the shrimp. <laughs> Lay that popping cork right in there on his face. He's got to eat it. These colorings on these are so cool. They're almost like chameleon. You'll see them on lighter stuff. They look really light. Dark stuff, they're dark. Really. There you go. Look at that guy. Oh, how cool is that? Let's see what we did here. Just a real short piece of leader. Just to keep that shrimp right up on top where he is. 
that popping cork just kind of holds it up high. All tail, man. That thing, that thing is all tail. Yeah, look at this coloring here. You finally got one to act the way they should. You threw the bait <laughs> right in there and he ate it. Not quite a keeper, but hey, it's a fish. Fun to catch, right? For sure. Real time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. We got into a little hot area and that's the way it goes sometimes. You find the right zone, the right depth that these fish are in and it seemed like the next couple pots, pot after pot, was holding the triple tail that we were looking for. <laughs> How cool was that? You got it right there and he ate it. Another little one. You know, the funny thing is, had a hard time finding them. Practically the last three pots have had fish on them. You get in a little area and apparently this is the depth they want to be in today. Look at the color of that one. Wow. Kind of more of a yellowy color. Think you do a drawing on that one for your daily study? After that's seen it in person, I have no choice. I tell you, it, it, what's so cool is Juice Neal does a, what's called a daily study, right? Yeah. Somebody passed the throne down to him. David Friel passed the throne down to him where he does a daily drawing on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you know, mar marine based, and it's incredible to see every day is a different different drawing or a different painting. I think this one's gonna make the uh, make the cut here as an inspiration. It's so cool to see every day something different. And you say it's like practice to you. It's it's yeah, it is like practice for longer, you know, stuff that maybe takes three to four days to finish. So these are just but quicker sketches and drawings. Quicker sketches and using all my mediums that are my favorite mediums and just keep the flow, you know. God, look at that. Well, that'd be the inspiration right there. For sure. We caught a couple triple tail and we were happy. We decided we were gonna switch gears, head in shore and look for some snook. I came in off the ocean after catching those triple tail and just hitting some of these residential canals now. Really kind of waiting for the sun to go down. We're gonna do some dock light fishing. And uh, pretty neat back here, you never know. You know, snook jacks see some stuff busting on the surface. You know, this time of the year, a lot of these fish come back in these canals, stay warm, you know, darker water. Woo, there's some good fish in there. Never know what you're gonna catch. Snook are not cold water creatures and we're coming off the coldest front of the year so far. Water temperatures have dropped, but these fish are adaptable. And what they do is they push way up these residential canals. This deeper, darker body of water is gonna hold more heat so that's where we're gonna target him. There he is. Good job, brother. Snook or? Yeah. Got him on a fly. Yeah. Just Neil, drive the fly rod. <laughs> Put a hurting on him on a fly rod. <laughs> this is my weapon of choice, man. You saw they're eating on that little bait. Little minnows and uh... cool. That little snook. We saw him busting in there. For sure. Dropped the fly to him and he ate it. That's all we That's cool. Good job. I was born and raised in Cuba. I came when I was um, 15 years old. Loving, you know, my place and time now. So, Jusnia, you were born in Cuba. You were telling me. Um, born in Cuba. Born and raised. Born and raised in Cuba. Self-taught yeah. artist. Yes. That's incredible. That's what you do now. You're, you're sell your, your paintings and your drawings. You're making a living at it, which is a great thing. It's my perfect excuse to go fishing pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> to get the inspiration, right? Yes. So you're not sitting in the studio Monday through Friday, nine to five, you know, banging out drawing after drawing. You kind of get inspired. You go through periods of, of peaks and valleys where you Doing yeah. more fishing than more art and then more art than more fishing. Yes, I try, like I said, I try not to be a slave to it. I just try to enjoy it as much as I can. And it's like everything else. When I get tired of it, just I go fishing, I do other stuff that pretty much rhyme with the same thing. So it's just part of a chain, pretty much, if you want to put it that way. Um, if you ask me five years ago, or that I was gonna be at this place and time. Um, 
I would have doubted myself. But I mean, the transition came when I just felt like this is the only thing I can see myself doing for the rest of my life. And um, also the best excuse I can have to like pretty much be have more time on the water as well. So, I mean, I'm just living my own personal dream life. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. We found a little honey hole. This is an area, you know, these bridge areas are great structure to hold snook, to act as funnels. Uh, even that concrete warms up during the day and puts off some heat. So these are great areas for wintertime patterns to target these snook. And we found them. They're feeding on the surface and they're readily taking the baits that we're pitching to them. Oh no! <laughs> God, they're sitting back in there. I got one to eat a white bait. A little one here. A little snooklet. Can you make him look big on canvas for me? <laughs> these snook are so dark back here. You know, in this yeah. darker, with this darker tannic, water, tannic water, it's a little wa warmer. You know that we always talk about that muddier bottom, darker water is, is going to hold the warmth better. We've just gone through a little cold front here. We're sitting here in January. This snook had no problem eating. Oh, there he is! It's oh, as cool as it gets right there. My errant cast uh, turned into a snook. I don't care. He's little, but he was fun. <laughs> the pilcher was dangling at a tree limb. He could not resist it. Tells you, man, presentation is everything. I probably could have thrown that pilcher in there and let it swim around and never got eaten. A lot of little males back in here, a little breeding ground. It's really neat to see these fish. They're a different color than the beach snook. These fish have pushed back in. They've been in these residential canals on these muddy bottoms, and they almost chameleon-like take on a darker color. No, I don't think it's a fish. Got him. Yes, it is a fish. Good job, brother. Bass? Is it a bass? That'd be so cool if it's a bass. Snook, I think. Snook? Yeah. Snook! Dark! Yeah. That thing didn't even touch the water. Beautiful fish. As the sun's going down, the light's getting low, Juice Neal's eyes are lighting up, and I can tell this is his passion. This is what he loves to do. He spends more time out here throwing a fly on dock lights than doing anything else, and I know he's excited for those lights to come on and those snook to come out. And I know he's going to get some great inspiration being out here tonight fishing these dock lights on a full moon. No, this this is, Neal, you don't get inspiration from this, bro? There's no inspiration. I know. I can see why you come out here at night. This is how you make a uh, wall. Look like a million dollars, man. God, it's incredible. Look at this. Look at him sucking off the surface right there. We pull up to these dock lights, and I have experience of doing this. I do this a lot on the East Coast, and I'm familiar with it, but this place is insane. This is dock lights to the next level. There are hundreds of fish in these dock lights. Jacks, snook, mullet, all types of bait running through there. It is insane the amount of activity that you're seeing in this crystal clear water under these dock lights. And I think uh, fishing at night was way more inspiring for me than the daytime. You get all these beautiful colors on the daytime, don't get me wrong, but it's just like I paint at night myself. So when I fish at night, it's just about that same time where I pretty much get into that, um, I don't know, transition that I like to call. And it's just a more comfortable environment for me to be working around. So. Um, yeah, totally way more inspiring Riding for me. Ooh, that's him! I saw him eat it! <laughs> <laughs> you pick the crayons, I'll pick the fly. There we go. <laughs> How cool is that? 
God, you put it right in there, man, and boom, it didn't take long at all. These docks right now are loaded. I mean, there is literally hundreds of fish. Little guy. Fun to catch, though, on those fly rods. Little eight weight. It's a little tiny minnow pattern. There's so many dock lights around here, which is so cool. Huh? Big moon up there. Yeah, that just reminds me of your drawings, your paintings. How cool is that? Beautiful thing. Easy to see how you get that inspiration. You come out here and do what you do, man. Totally it's nice. amazing that you can put this onto paper, onto canvas, and make it look so realistic. But you make it happen. So it's got to get back in the water. Oh, look at the shadow again. <laughs> Slow on everything, eh? Awesome job, brother. All right, man. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Eagle Claw Trocar, the sharpest fish hooks in the world. Oh, I watched him eat it. Nice. That was beautiful. CCA Florida Star. Catch your share of $500,000 in prizes and scholarships. Checking out his artwork, he has a series called the Moonlight Series, and it's probably some of my favorite work that he does. I don't know, just the silence of that kind of fishing and the peaceful um, environment that I'm fishing at on this um, time of the day, it's just beyond anything I can experience. So that's why you see it a lot in my work, in my Moonlight series, which is this uh, dark papers and like nighttime scenes that I like to do over and over again. And I, again, I keep doing as well, so. You got it? Oh, he ate it, he ate it right there on top. <laughs> <laughs> He's right on top. Oh my goodness! You get in there, see if you double up. Look him up on top now, it's almost like... I mean, you can pick out the one you want. You know, there's a lot bigger snook to be caught in other places, but I tell you, when you get them on a fly like this... I mean, look, he's dragging me all the way back in there. Oh, come on out. I'm trying to stop him on that eight weight. I watched this one eat. I watched him just come up and eat this fly. And this is like fishing a stream out west. <laughs> the water's nice and clear. We got an incoming tide right now. Yeah, that fish is a little better. Uh, anyone you can catch on a fly that you see is a good fish. Totally. I don't care how big he is. And no. You pick out the one you want, you drop a fly in front of him and he eats it. It's so rewarding. It's like the next level in fishing. It's hard to explain. That's really all they're eating is little minnows going by. People want to throw a lot of big stuff. And I always tell people, on dock lights, smaller the better. Little tiny dinky fly is what they're eating. God, look at that fly in the water. You snew. I think I, look at that. Look at the fly in the water next to it like that. Yeah. Look how cool that is. That was a nice shot. There he is. I got one! <laughs> wow, you really feel the power of those things. Not very big, a lot of males in there, but I tell you what, man, they got some power. How cool is that, man? This is so alive, these dock lights are just incredible, you know. I come from the East Coast where we fish dock lights too, but I tell you, it's not like this. This thing is just its own ecosystem right now. Moon's full tomorrow night. There's just tons of bait in the water, jacks everywhere, these snooker everywhere. Just, you know, you wanna grab him for me? Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, look at that. What a beautiful fish. These things are loaded on the dock lights right now. We caught those trip tail today. Caught the snook during the day. The snook at night on these dock lights. God, what a great day it's been, man. It's been awesome. Look at this. Doesn't get any better, huh? No, there's probably a hundred in there. You get, you get this time of the year, you can do these whole night pretty much. I see why you come out here at night and do it. There you go, man. You think you could draw this for me? Oh, let's see it. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Thanks for a great day. No, man. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, my favorite moment from the show, I want to say, anytime I can take my fly rod out, it's just the best part of my day, um, angling day. So totally, I mean, just catching those snooks at night, which is what I mainly do when I'm in the water at this time of the night, um, was amazing. And doing them um, in, a, in the show with George and seeing him cast a fly, even though he doesn't do it as often as he mentioned, but it was pretty fun to see him out of his comfort zone. As fishermen, we go out to create those memories in our mind. Those dock lights that are filled with hundreds of fish, those incredible eats on the fly, those, those crab pots that are full with triple tail. And for somebody like Juice Neal to capture that on paper or canvas is something truly special. There is literally hundreds of fish. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. you have it in your neck. <laughs> this is Emerson and this is Finnegan. They're my personal Ewoks. Came up and ate it and the fight was on. And that was stupid. Ready?